Hey everyone, welcome to Tuesday with Pastor Dan. Good to have you all join me. Um, <clears throat> I was doing a, one of my devotions today, one of actually my old ones that I pulled back out uh, that I had given to someone in Donaldsonville. Um, meditations for men, but that doesn't matter. Uh, by Richard Rohr. And, uh, and he talks about um, those titled Wanderlust. And, and the conversation is about how we as people, um, we, we think that we have to journey um, or, or we have to journey well beyond where we're at to learn, to grow, to experience, to be renewed, whatever it is. Um, and it's actually the old, the, the, the standard hero story, if you look through most of literature or movies or whatever, is that the hero is wandering aimlessly looking for some sort of definition. They have to leave home to go to this, well, great beyond place to discover something. And, and uh, and they miss pieces of what's happening. Um, and it, it uh, made me think about Jacob and Jacob's ladder. And then the angels are descending and, and ascending on it in the dream. And Jacob says, surely God is in this place. And I did not know it. Surely God is in this place. And I did not know it. How often do we simply just miss the presence of God? because we're distracted, because we're not paying attention, because we're not looking even, uh, but God is in this place. Uh, or, or we think that we have to go somewhere else to find God. We have to go to some grand thing. Um, I'm all for pilgrimages and everything where we go travel and we experience beautiful, wonderful new places and, and the power of God in them. Um, we've been to um, Notre Dame uh, right before it burned, actually, and absolutely felt a presence we've been to Iona and Scotland but that we didn't have to we did and we felt God um, it's when we think that we have to go somewhere beyond the place we're in because we've we've confused ourselves or, or we're just not looking around here and now but it's so easy to look around and experience God in this place and then we end up being like Jacob and say surely God is in this place and I did not know it um I think we need to be just a little more perceptive of where God is now, looking around and experiences. When a kid on Sunday basically gives the sermon away um, during the children's sermon, and you're like, well, I guess I don't have to do anything. They did it. Surely God is in this place, and I didn't know it. The co-worker that steps up, the 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 love, the, the community that embraces us. Let us be more attentive of where God is, which is here and now with us. I mean, we all say, surely God is in this place, but I did know it, and I experienced it.